that there were 10 virgins. Five of those virgins were wise and five of those virgins were foolish. Now the Bible says that they that were wise took all in their vessels and they that were foolish took their vessels but took no oil with them. What is that saying? As I said before, the Lord said to his people to watch and to pray. Five virgins were wise, five were foolish. That could equate to half of the Christian population being foolish, not being filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that in the last days, many will have a form of godliness, but they will deny the power thereof. They will look Christian, sound Christian, but will not have the keeping power of the Holy Spirit as they travel through this world, thereby falling by the wayside, compromising their faith, and going for what is popular instead of standing for the truth of the Word of God. Now, this is the Word of God. This is not me uh, saying, but this is the word of God. So where do you stand today, brothers and sisters in Christ? Like I said, we were told to watch because the days are evil. The times are evil. We're quickly approaching the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And there are some things happening that I want to share with you uh, as it relates to Bible prophecy and the fulfillment of the Word of God. Uh, we see um, what is happening now. Uh, we have Russia going into Ukraine. We talked about that. Why did Russia go into Ukraine? Because, well, number one, weak leadership. Uh, number two, their pretense for going into Ukraine was that they did not want Ukraine to become a part of NATO, I believe. And so uh, that's why they wanted to go in and overrun Ukraine. Okay. Now let me start by saying this. You may not want to believe it or accept it, brothers and sisters, but this administration is a warmongering administration. They love war. They profit uh, through war, confusion. This is why we've seen the mass riots and all of these things happening during the 20, uh, 2020 year with the uh, uh, police riots, BLM, uh, Antifa, and all of the destruction that happened in mostly democratic, democratically run cities. So the Democratic Party push this type of agenda, and they love chaos. Now, you know, I'm not just saying this because, um, uh, you know, for some may say that, you know, you hate the Democratic Party. No, it's just the truth of the matter. Because Ukraine attacked Russia, like I said, they went in to prevent Ukraine from becoming a part of NATO. So what did this administration do? Well, they began to go on television 
and to insinuate that they supported Ukraine to become a part of NATO. They um, agitated Russia by saying that they, you know, that Ukraine could become a part of NATO. Um, not only that, they also with China now just recently happened with China, Nancy Pelosi going to Taiwan. Why? Because like I said, they want to inc incite a war. And so they went to, Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan, uh, you know, saying that they, we, we stand by Taiwan and we will fight Taiwan. Even Joe Biden himself said that we would intervene uh, with military force if necessary, if China attacked Taiwan. So, you know, like I say, edging them on uh, to war. The same way <laughs> the U.S. stood by Afghanistan under this administration, will that be the same way they stand by Taiwan? We all know what happened in Afghanistan. All right, so warmongering. This administration loves it. You don't have to believe my words. You can listen to the video uh, yourself. All of this trip? Could it be that Tony Blinken and Barack Obama and the rest of the people who are actually running the Biden administration without the knowledge of Joe Biden, who can't remember anything at this point, could it be that all these people know perfectly well how reckless this is, know perfectly well what the effects could be, and they're doing it not just in spite of those effects, but because of those effects, because actually, at least on some gut level, they want to hasten the end of American hegemony, which is to say the end of the U.S. as we know it. That would explain why they sent Kamala Harris, of all people, to avert a war in Ukraine, knowing full well that Kamala Harris would read the notes they wrote for her and insist that Ukraine join NATO and then guarantee that Russia invades Ukraine, constricts the world's energy and food markets and makes us weaker. Huh. Maybe they knew that would happen. Maybe they're not that stupid. Maybe that would also explain why they sent Nancy Pelosi over to Taiwan effectively as the administration's representative, even though Nancy Pelosi rivals Kamala Harris in her inability to form a coherent thought. <laughs> Amen, brothers and sisters. So we can see that there, there is a plan in place, and it's all because of the New World Order agenda of these uh, elite, elitist type, the... Uh, uh, those that are in power and uh, want to rule over other mankind. Now, uh, as I said, you know they they taunt they are taunting Russia and China um, with their words in order to escalate a war. Um, so we see where they Russia went into Ukraine. China now is threatening Taiwan. And what about North Korea and threatening South Korea? All of these things are happening. And why? Like I said, because of, you know, the leadership that we have now. And then because the word of God is being fulfilled. Um, will this start World War III? Well, it only begin World War III, as I said in a previous video, only if Iran gets involved and there is a war that breaks out in the Middle East. Um, and we're, we're, we're seeing some things happening also with Israel and the Palestinians and threats from Iran. I will show that um, a little bit later in the video. But the word of God tells us in the book of Revelation, chapter 9, 13 through 16, we read, And the six angels sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the six angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great U uh, river Euphrates. The, the, the river Euphrates, uh, in, uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, is located in the Middle East region. Uh, and the four angels were loose, which were prepared, listen, for an hour, a day, a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. 
these angels will be released will be released on a certain day a certain month a certain year a certain hour and all hell will break loose worldwide not just in the middle east and they was they were they were loose the bible says for the express purpose of slaying one third of mankind as i've said before that's approximately 2.8 billion people and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand a 200 million uh, man army and i heard the number of them so there is there's approximately a 200 million man army that will um, be involved in this war and like i said ladies and gentlemen it will be a war that is uh world wide now um so fighting continues uh in the middle east Amen. and as we can see by these headlines uh there is war uh skirmishes going on right now uh in israel between the hezbollah of palestine and and we see iran is also threatening uh israel they've already you know bolstered that they could have a nuclear weapon uh within a matter of time and israel will not allow that to happen so something is going to happen ladies and gentlemen very soon in the middle east and we're going to wake up to the news of world war three now let's continue on uh and number two uh, this administration, they promised a food shortage. They promised a food shortage. Way before the food, food shortage ever uh, was, was a thing to think of, they promised us the food shortage. You, you've heard them on the, on, the, uh, on the news programs. And we see that gas prices have increased. Uh, food prices have increased. Utilities have increased. Rent have increased. All of these things are happening and why are they happening well to get people dependent upon the government in other words homelessness will become you know uh, an epidemic and this is the way that they want it so that they can have you dependent upon the government so that you have to go to the government to have your daily needs met um, we're going to read the scripture in the word of God that uh, uh, tells us this. Uh, so uh, uh, all of these things are, are happening. Okay. And then I showed you about the, um, the cryptocurrency. How that, that is something that is being used to um, track all monetary spending um, by every U.S. Uh, citizen. And the government is uh, will be using that to keep track of your spending. And it will be, um, as they say, will be elect electronic. That means if you don't obey what they say, they're able to cut you off. It's just like if you have a uh, uh, a, a credit card and uh, you know if you, you're not paying your bills you're, you're delinquent then uh, the credit card company will stop your credit card from working so this is the same way that the government once they uh, figure out a way to uh, 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 to uh, bring about this cryptocurrency uh, blockchain currency then uh, we would be at their mercy. This is what they are planning, ladies and gentlemen. I showed you the video in my uh, video, Crypto Government. Uh, this is a small example of what I spoke about. Hi there, you're watching Proactive's Crypto Report. 
President Joe Biden will sign an executive order today requiring the U.S. government to assess the risks and benefits of creating a central bank digital currency. According to the official, the U.S. will move forward cautiously on the project given the dollar's role as a world's primary reserve currency. A CBDC is a digital form of the country's fiat currency, like cryptocurrency, but issued by the government in the same way as traditional paper money. Amen. So here you see it. Um they're investigating the possibilities and you know while everybody's doing their thing you know uh having fun and, and you know we're continually having church events and and conferences and and all of these things but nobody is watching to see what is going on in the world so that we may warn the people and that we may be ready ourselves it, the bible said it, it was like this during the days of of noah he said the people were eating and drinking Everybody was doing their own thing. They were building houses. They were marrying. Uh, they were being, getting engaged to be married. And all of these things, it, con it, it continued as normal until the floods came. Also in the days of Lot, the Bible said they continued to live the way that they wanted to live, not heeding the warnings of the Lord. And it's the same way today, ladies and gentlemen. The church has become a conglomerate. The church has become a business and many are running it as a business. Many have their own agendas, but yet the word of God is constantly being fulfilled. And sadly, no one is watching. No one is warning the people. Amen. We read in the book of Revelation again, chapter 13 verses 6 through 17 it says that and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven <laughs> this is speaking of the 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 the, uh, the false uh, prophet and the Antichrist, their government would be an anti-God government. Listen, everything that God stands for, they will stand against. Ladies and gentlemen, can't you see that today, brothers and sisters? Can't you see that today in the current administration? They're anti-God. They speak against uh, the things of God. I can give you a lot of uh, examples of some of the things that they have done that is against God, but I'm not going to waste time doing that. You should be able to see it for yourself. You should be able to ask the Holy Spirit to help you to see, to give you discernment to see what is going on uh, in our world today. So he opened his mouth against, uh, against God blasphemed his name his tabernacle and them that dwell therein it would not be a christian friendly government you know and i've even have heard uh, with this organization that has targeted christians as the number one threat to the new world order or the one world governmental move and they have targeted christians uh in some of the things and some of the laws that have been passed and some that will be passed. I mean, you know, look at, uh, it's not happening widely, worldwide right now or nationwide, but look at how some of the, uh, the, those in the LGBT transgender community are going to Christian businesses and being hired and then filing suit against these business for discrimination. Uh, in order to bring these Christian businesses down. So we are living in a world that is anti-God, anti-Christ. And we're seeing it developed. Uh, <laughs> and it was given to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. Listen, it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Not to make war with the world, but to target the saints. And we're seeing this happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, you're going to see it be, be become even more and more 
uh, uh, serious as time goes on. And see, God is charging you, brothers and sisters in Christ, to stand up for the truth, to stand up for the gospel of Jesus Christ. How are we going to be salt and light in the earth when our mouth is shut? And we're not standing against the evils of this world. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. He gave us that commission, but many are failing in that because we're too busy doing the things of the church and we're not doing the things that God has called us to do, to be salt and light. So it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. See, when the church is silent, when the church does not step stand up, it gives the Antichrist spirit more power and more dominion. Jesus said, if my people, which are called by my name, he didn't say if the heathen would turn and seek me. He said, if my people who are called by my name, and who are the people that are called by his name? They that say that they have received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So the world is telling, the, the, the Lord is telling the church, if my people who are called by my name would turn from their wicked ways, would seek my face. Yes, God said his people have some wicked ways. What are his, the wicked ways? We uh, cover up the truth. We stand with those who are against the truth. Amen. We, especially in the black community, and I can say this because I'm black, we are standing with folks because they are black and not because they are godly. Not because they represent morals and the sanctity uh, of scriptures. No, simply because of the color of their skin. And God is going to judge you, brother and sister, in Christ for the error of your ways. So he, 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 he was able to overcome. And because he was able to overcome and silence the church, he was able to take over the entire world. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Amen. If your name has not been written in the Lamb's book of life, you will worship the Antichrist. You will worship the beast system, the spirit of Antichrist. You know, I'm going to go into, I'm going to have a lesson. I'm going to speak about the mark of the beast and what it also could represent. You know, people are looking for people to, to be walking around with uh, the 666 in their forehead or in their right hand, you know, as an indication. But that may not just be or what it is all about. And I'm going to bring forth a message on that uh, in the future, God willing. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live. The false prophet was able to perform miracles, ladies and gentlemen. See, this is why the church uh, Jesus said, "We are as uh, we are sheep, as gone. We, we have gone astray." I think he said, "We even said we are dumb sheep, and we have gone astray because everybody that comes on the scene and say Jesus, I'm I, I'm a I'm a, 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 a prophet from Jesus. I'm an apostle from Jesus. We fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. We don't look at the fruit of a person. We don't examine, you know, the the words that they are saying, the doctrine." We just fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. See, so the devil is able to perform miracles. The Bible even tells us that his ministers will, will be transformed as ministers of righteousness. 
Amen. And that they would perform miracles to deceive. And this is what is going to happen uh, during the tribulation period, ladies and gentlemen. The Antichrist is going to deceive many by the miracles which he had power to do. And then it says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. It says here that he calls it all both small and great to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible uses a lot of symbolism in Revelation. It may not just be an actual mark, but it may be something a whole lot deeper. You remember Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Well, it's the same principle applies here. You know, people are looking for a physical sign. And you've got a lot of believer, unbelievers who know what the mark of the beast is. You say 666 to them and they know. They know what you're talking about. So unbelievers are aware of this. But is this what the word of God is actually saying? Like I say, God willing, I'm going to bring forth a, a, a message. It won't be lengthy to go into what this mark of the beast uh, could also uh, be about and that no man might buy or sell except he had this this mark so like i was telling you ladies and gentlemen when the, the government this administration they have explored the possibilities of using cryptocurrency uh what they call it uh blockchain currency whatever they they, they the name they given it but it won't be uh anything associated with what is being done now with the cryptocurrency and the uh, uh what is the other currency that that people are getting involved with now and, and investing in um i can't think of the name at this moment but it won't be anything connected with that matter of fact what the government wants to do is outlaw all of these other crypto currencies and that their currency would be the one that would be the official currency and would have to be used Amen. And we, we've seen uh, some other some countries in, in the world have gone uh, cashless. I believe India has gone cashless. Um, uh, some uh, some areas in, in, in other countries have gone cashless. So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the word of God is fulfilling. And so it is time for us to watch. It is time for us to to be aware of what is going on. Uh, to have our garments clean, as the word of God says, uh, to walk upright before the Lord. Amen. Unless any man should take our crown. Amen. This is Brother Williams. God bless you as you continue to follow his word. Amen. And pray for the hearing of the Holy Spirit to discern the things that are going on in the world today. God bless you. Uh, until next time. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thee with my right hand. Say unto thee, fear not, I will help thee.